Fine, I love this music so much. Again, the race should have been given. Anyway, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to more Earthbound. In the last part, uh, we legit beat Mondo Mole the way the game designers intended you to. We didn't use paralysis. This part, we're going to go back to uh, Tucson. Now, there's nothing else to do in Happy Happy Village, and there's a, we could basically, uh, we basically saved Paula. We've essentially done every last possible thing we can do in a Happy Happy Village. We're going to have to come back to Happy Happy Village, so, uh, yeah, we just have to t make this trip. Much like the last Sanctuary boss, uh, these enemies are going to run away once we get the power of the Sanctuary. Dude, what's in that chest up there? My curiosity is peaking. I don't think I usually... Anyway, so my curiosity is peaking. Um, I think it's like, I think we go up and then right. That gets us whatever's in that box. I want to know what's in the damn box. You don't tempt me with things like that. There's just a cross end, a cross end. Anyway, now that we got that lame prize out of our system, we can actually just go back to Tucson. Now there's nothing else we can do in Happy Happy Village. Um. I want to say he says anything different. What was Andy Blue place like? Was it scary? Trust me, fighting the fighting the boss without using paralysis was scary. I'm gonna say yes. Did you see a huge mole like I've seen her lot lives there? Yes, we were legit. I was legit scared that that mole was gonna kill my ass. Oh my god, I still can't believe I beat Mondo Mole without using process, because most places I just use the cheap route. Anyway, so uh, we're just gonna... Now, I will say, even though we're going back to Peaceful Rest Valley, we're much stronger now than we were before. We, so it's easy to get go through Peaceful Rest Valley and go out and like... Let's see the oak tree. Uh, I just want... I kind of want to just show the difference, but like, um... But like, um... What am I trying to say? We're taking way less damage than we were before, so like, um, if you're gonna do PSI Caramel from Territorial Oak, it's not about you need to do it now, now that we have more party members. They could be susceptible to freeze, but I don't really know, I've never tried it. Yeah, it's just 74 damage, nothing special. Yeah, they will do mortal damage though, keep that in mind, you wanna take them out last. And no PSI Caramel for us. We have single 128 item yet. We're gonna have to go for one of them later. Um, oh fuck. I want to, I'm gonna do some enemy manipulation. I already said though that the trip out of Peace Forest Valley is, uh, is easier than the trip through Peace Forest Valley. Cause we can just heal Paul and then just do this. Like, pretty much like, um, what am I trying to say? Like, uh, you never know. Again, no PSI Caramel for us. Because we cannot... Like I said, 0 .007 chance they drop. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get up. Oh, no! Okay, I think I'm both attacks missed. I don't know why I'm showing this. They, these enemies will be susceptible to freeze. So, like, um... Okay, one damage. One pity damage to Ness. I got a cold, unfortunately. We're gonna have to use a uh, healing item. We just let Paula die. Well, I don't know. Um, not one for Paul. You know, my human city is peaking. Um, Paula died a slow death from a cold because uh. I want to see, I, I think there's an alternate scene that happens when you bring Paula back, except she's a, she's dead, but, um, since I'm a sick bastard, I might as well try this. <laughs> uh, don't, don't ever try this. We're also having to go to the hospital and get her back, like, uh. Yeah, they're, they're doing one PDF. Oh, God. Again. Sick again. That's two. That's like the second time this recording session I got homesick. Oh my god.
Anyway, uh, let's let Paula die a slow death, so, uh, from a cold. So, we can, I really want to see, I've, I know there's an alternate scene, I've just never seen it before. I've just never had the opportunity. So, yeah, uh, take a minute to let Paula's de HP deplete. But, uh, I'll also show you what happens uh, when you get killed by uh, when you get, uh, when you get uh, killed by one of these statuses. There's gonna be more statuses like this later on, but um. No, let's just go in circles like this. Okay, you take a few steps. It's like getting poison in the Pokemon games. Alert. Pause and issue is critical. She collapsed her later. She didn't treat. Be careful. Anyway, so, um... Anyway... I really want to see the alternate scene. I really do. This is what happens, uh... When, uh... It just turns- This is also what happens when a party member is killed. They turn into a ghost. Now... The, the uh... The menu screen also turns red. Like blood. Jesus, like, what is with these games? There's, um... My preschool has a ghost. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh, it plays the music from Ness's house. Paula! You know, I thought I saw her for a second out of the corner of my eye. Maybe I was just dreaming. Isn't you, Paula? Oh, I thought she would be back, but not yet. Oh, I'm not worried. I'll be okay. Oh my god. Tell Paula! Hurry, hurry! Oh my god! I am a sick bastard! Am I dreaming? I feel like she just came home. Yeah, that's the alternate scene that happens when you bring Paula back as a ghost. Anyway, I'll also demonstrate what happens if- I'll also kind of demonstrate if, what happens when you have to, uh, revive party members. I think I'm trying to remember where the hot- I think the hot school's in the northeast part of Tucson? Yes, in the northeast part of Tucson. Tucson is a big-ass town, like, um... What's the runway five have to say? Thank you for talking to me. Did you go off with some girls? They say something different. Whenever you work at Hall, trying to find the girl who lives in the preschool, find her, bring her to her concert. Yeah, they have different dialogue. <laughs> I feel like, thought to do this. Like, it's crazy. But anyway, this is what happens when you have a dead party member. Uh, you basically go to the hospital and pay a fee to get them revived. An amount of money. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I took her out of, uh, I took out some money. And Paula's back. So we might as well have to, uh, now we're gonna go and, uh, bring back Paul legitimately. Except it's gonna be a long walk. That, like I said, it's it's an actual criticism I have of Earthbound, is how slow, like, you can move at this point in the game. Subsequently, later on, like, there's faster ways to move, but, uh... Nothing we can do with this part. He's smiling. If we go and bring Paul legitimately... We'll do, we'll do this legitimately. Thank you for saying Paul, you are my hero. When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like Paul, that's the same dialogue, um... I was like a mother to me. I've seen that a lot before. Yeah, who I knew when you say Paul, I don't really understand it, but I know that Paul's America's style and your great cards will allow you to stand up any challenge. Paul, if you must take a trip, be sure that it brings along my own handmade beating. Or, oh, yeah, right. I don't know, call it hand age. I'll get the hand age. Did you meet Daddy? Sorry that he's back in this surf. Everywhere in Berglin Park. Yeah, so. Oh, Paula. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'll be a big help to Ness. Not every day I follow it, Zara, Bucker, and Journey save the world. Yeah, don't worry about me. 
Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves and free the next town will meet another friend. And the three of us can combine our power and no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, open your nose, and scramble before we take off. Goodbye, Paula. I won't cry anymore. Anyway. This is such beautiful music that plays in the uh, It also plays in Ness's house. It plays in Paula's house, too. Take this right here as a teddy bear. We just don't- we can go into Paula's bedroom and steal her favorite teddy bear, basically. Anyway, so... Now that we're out of, uh... Now that we've saved Paula, um... Hello, Ness. Everybody is looking for you. He's got something for you. Hmm. Find a way... Remember how earlier we cannot get to Threed without, um... We cannot get to three without uh, the ghost blocking our path. We have to get around that, and this is kind of how we do it. We basically, uh, talk to Edward Red. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept that, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep, keep money on your so let me keep, keep this to you. $10,000. Use this money any way you want. The argument is generously accepted, and I plan on holding the evil mini mace at you. That the liar tier a great or north and on it. I'll see you another time in another space. Oh, I got the water bills. Kind of how we uh get out of this area because man, there's a musical group in this area that's in debt. We have to. This will allow us to get them out of their debts. Well, let's see with Paula. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present play. Boy, he's a backstage pass. You can never show with this. Paula gets a backstage pass. You're with the girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? Yeah, pretty, it's pretty much a stare at her. Oh my god, here's the cameraman, Derek, again. You taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, great friend. It's my ring. Look at the camera. Ready? Say this. Yeah, what a great photograph, it all is me like the fondest of memories. That picture guy shows up at the weirdest times. Anyway. So let's talk to this guy. The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they'll pay me back. They may be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> yeah, for sure I'm the water bills. Uh, same thing. What? Should the water bill is like right here. You're in. You want to talk about money? Have a letter after the show where we're talking big bucks. I got to define rules of how I might handle my money matters. He wants the runway five to perform one more time. So let's see the backstage pass to kind of a. Uh... Here you go. Hurry. Just announcing the runway five show. There's an audience. I came here because it's tough to get in. Kind of disappointed. They're no good looking waitresses. There's no room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Hey kids, how'd you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? Okay. You know, it's pretty tricky, tacky and entertain. Our company's business is partnered by kind of to a runway five show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just tell the line. My boyfriend just lost a ticket that I gave him. He's outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. It's too proud of me. They just filled this, up this little music hall after all. Well, well, I got a little kid here talking to me like he's an adult. I'll give you one thing, you got guts, kid. Hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just farted. <laughs> Sorry, uh, fuck you. When it's close to say, sometimes I get sweat or spit from me from the runway five. I've seen the runway five on stage in my life. You kids are bouncing around talking to everyone, it's getting annoying. Talk to this girl. Lucky, lucky if the runway five told me to get, go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? I'm gonna ask. I can't believe it. Can you take a duty, please, please, please? I can post you to the yes with Crocs. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. But there's no one guarding the backstage pass area. Anyway, if we talk to her, I'm so excited. I might just wet myself. My heart is getting pit going pear platter. Well, yeah, in the old days, there was a lot of dancers and acts at this theater, except now we're the only acts playing here. We're going in, we even got into debt here, so we're pretty near stuck. <laughs> Both in Tucson have enjoyed the Roman Fashion for quite a few years. It looks like to me. Don't want to talk to you, I want to talk to the other guy. 
Shabba do wap diddly dee da shelly do be bo wa. I got the dim blues, um, that's like scat singing. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move. Well, I think we have $10,000. Or if their bus still runs, it may be rusted out. Talk to the saxophone player. I heard the lyrics to most of the Runway 5 songs. Money is what I want. Money is what I want. Money is what I want. Money is what we got. Set freedom, 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 freedom is what we sought. Nice lyrics. They're forced rhymes, though. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. Hey, you got to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. Leave the area. Show starting. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you get the Chaos Theater solo men coming at you. Rocking and rolling and living live on here stage for the limited time only. The world's greatest blues men. They're one way five. And here they come. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Anyway, so that's the Runway 5 show. Now we can pay off their debts. You like baseball? I knew it. You can't give away. You guys are bouncing around talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. Well, we'll stop that then. We'll get this band out of debt so you never have to see them again because fuck you. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, pardon me. This is the officer. Do you want to see Poochie Fun? What kind of name is Poochie Fun? The manager right through this door, please. Let me get this straight. This guy, this con artist name is Poochie Bud. How does this guy even have a fucking name? The only five owe me a lot of money. The same fellow, yeah, he is saying the same thing as before, but I'm not gonna read that again. But uh, I never knew this fucker had a name, but uh, I'm not gonna, let's get him more bells. Excuse me, what's he got this? Close look, so he has to kind of show it to his face right here. Oops. You surprised me. Now I'm sure what to do. Now I get the money, of course. Now they're running five your day. I don't play time my money. What do you do now? What do you do now? I can't read that right. This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Oh, that means we can escape out of dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure old hunk of junk will get us there. I didn't make a speckle myself, did I? I don't know what you did to get fucking ten thousand dollars in debt. I guess playing live is expensive with like the equipment and all that, like the PA. Let's go to three. Our tour bus is too loud. If Brittany goes to bother us, you want to ride? Yes. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. This is how we're gonna get three. Look, get rid of this rocking tune. Okay, guys, here we go. Sidewalk, get out of my way. And guess what? This is gonna lot. This uh, rocking tune is gonna get. Again, apparently the ghosts don't like this as much as I do, but like, uh, the ghost is basically how we're gonna get out of this town. Not the ghost, the, uh, 105 tour bus, which they haven't used in a long time because they got in debt. This is actually like, uh, how not to tour as an artist is the Runaway 5, basically. They're gonna appear again later. There's the ghost we couldn't get across before.
Now we're in three. What's the thing about to say goodbye for now? It's not a good thing for me. I'm sure you can light up this place with your own little bread of sunshine. Let's see you again sometime. Look for us to be signed, singing at some theater in Foresight. Fortunately, though, for, even though fortunately we're in three, there is very little stuff we can do in this area. So. I think I'll uh, keep going, and uh, Paul said we were gonna see another another uh, another person here. So uh, I guess we can do that. Uh, I'm just gonna take out eight hundred dollars. I'll guess the weapons because there are no weapons. Yeah, I need to sell something first. We're gonna we're gonna sell. There's no way in hell we need the cookie or the crossant. We don't need either of those anymore. These items, a lot of just become less useful as the game progresses because like you only get like six HP out of them. We're about the minor league back, which is the stuff on former bot in a happy, happy village. And this off change from 48 to 59. We can sell a sandlot bat. And uh let's see, uh where there's a copper bracelet, but there's uh basically uh the same defensive item. We don't get much in terms of defensive upgrades, but we have this fry pan, which Raise our from 20 to 36. Let's talk to this guy. Basically, uh, refreshing herbs can get rid of any status condition. They're great items. We're not going to buy those just yet. Actually, maybe I'll buy a few. You can't get like a status in this area. So, might as well buy a few. Might as well put a few in Paul's in for two. Take them kind of back. Refreshing nerves, that is great. Item. We'll buy one more for Paula. Anyway, so there's a place where you can call your dad. Your dad is a president. 2001, 2000, 2011, your bank account. Take away, uh, yeah, it's uh, basically a, a safe spot. Now, am I homesick from before? I think I got homesick twice. Yeah, I'm still homesick, so I have to call my mom, too. Oh, that's what, uh, yeah, same thing as before. I still can't fucking believe I got homesick twice in the same recording. And I started over being homesick. Now, uh, there's numerous in the maze we can fight and freed. Except we can't really sh except, uh, talk to this guy. Sounds like very dark, right? The people mostly live in the southern town. How do we get town back from the zombies? The room that there's an underground pub in the edge of the graveyard takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. I wet my pants just thinking about it. I'm so scared of the zombies, I spend all my time running from them. I can't even get home. So yeah, this time we've gone from having a sharks problem, a criminal pro a criminal gang problem to a uh, cult problem to a zombie problem. Now we kind of want to, uh, the only thing we can really do at this point in the game, well, there's new enemies. Ooh, I don't like we are here in the first strike. Anyway, so, uh, these, uh, putrid, you anyway, know, so these, uh, zombie possessors, they can call for help, and, uh, they're pretty, pretty much your standard enemies. Now, uh, I think these uh, putrid moldy men are acceptable to freeze, but I could be wrong. We haven't taken you ever back down, thank you. Eh? They are acceptable for reason. Yeah, the smells like that. We now we just take out like uh, we just take out the zombie messer. These are powerful items at this point in the game. This is great music, also. Is possess. It didn't work on the teddy bear because the teddy bear can't get status. <laughs> and the teddy bear is a piece of power fluff. So it's time to last it, Paula. It's Paula. Uh, can I refresh your... I forget. Can I refresh your... I did cure that. I'm pretty sure I can cure any status. Paula's at level 15. Offense went up by 2. Guys went up by 2. IQ up by 2. Max speed went up by 3. That rocks. Max speed went up by 8. Paula's about uh, PSI Magnet Alpha. Okay, can I refresh your and cure this? Let me check. Oh fuck, it, it can't. Uh, yeah, there's no cure for this. I think there is a cure. Now the only cure is pretty much to go to the hospital. There's in your soul. The 
this is unfortunately there's not really much oh wait this is a new enemy the no good flies now uh these are uh these are basically uh very much different uh this is psi mario um and uh is a fire. Unfortunately, Paula solidified, but uh, yeah, so like, uh, these enemies do give a lot of XP, um, so it's great. Now, when you're possessed, like, they can reach the ghost, can reach out with its hand and solidify you, it can uh, it can uh, do it to part other party members too. It's like a stash you don't really want to have, and it can uh, the tiny ghost can attack you. Fly being tame. Now I need to heal. I think they are several freeze beta. No, can't yeah, healed. Oh, the worst house time to deal with this has I thought our professor was thinking it would cure this, but it doesn't. And yeah, it's defeated. Ness is now level 20. Oh, baby. Offense went up by 4. Defense went up by 2. Speed went up by 2. Oh, baby. Gus went up by 4. Q went up by 2. Luck went up by 2. Max speed went up by 3. Max speed went up by 7. We rouse the power of life up beta. That's, uh... If we can kind of... What's in this? Is it... Actually, we'll need that for later. I think we'll need it for later. I don't know. I don't typically... I don't use that. No, I'll take that back. The hotel. Or if we go to the hotel, there'll be this cr strange woman. And, uh, I'm kind of leaving this off on a cliffhanger because if we to go into her, I'm kind of leaving this off on a cliffhanger. I'm leaving this off on a cliffhanger. Yeah, we're gonna get, like, eaten alive. Or, like, whatever ha I don't even know what happens in this cutscene. Oh, oh, you're losing consciousness. What else could be the fate of Ness and his friend? Yeah, we have to find a way to get out of here. There's a door, but, um... Door is locked. I'm calling out to you, who I've never met. I'm calling our friend. We've never met. Jeff, Jeff, we need your help. I am Paul and I am with another friend, Ness. We're trying to contact you. 